What's up guys? This is The Road From and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. And to remind you where we left off last time, we are doing... We're hitting the final city of these three that we've blitzkrieged in one turn because the Ottomans left their front completely unguarded. So we're going to secure Cairo, convert to Protest Protestantism and continue the advance. Potentially I might even take this army and land near... Land them in Istanbul, to be honest, because the territory is... Well, it looks like they're probably actually going to rebel. Um, which is interesting, actually, because it's a... Isn't a... Ottomans... Yeah, they're a republic. They're a republic, and Istanbul is going to be a lower-class rebellion. Um, so I'm not quite sure what you get after that. But anyway, let's take Mr. Hutchinson, and let's attack the city of Cairo with our Highland force. That's going to be... Pretty awesome. I think it's probably going to be one of the last actions of this turn. There's potentially a couple of uh, battles in the, on, to the east that I could fight. Um, but I think the main focus will be on shoring up our front in the Middle East. And then advancing both west and north. Oh yes. So let's drop our guns to the rear. Let's form... A solid Highland front line, including the Black Watch. Actually, no, let's keep the Black Watch out of it. I mean, these Highland troops do look just really awesome. So let's put the Black Watch together on the right flank. And then on the left flank, we can put a unit of Royal Highland Grenadiers, which also look brilliant. Plus the unit of marines. And the raw green, uh, the green jacket's going to be on the left flank. Connet range is on the right. Split up our cavalry. This is just a fantastic army. This is a almost a perfect army. What would make it better is if the guns and how it says were horse guard artillery. Actually, I might put you just a bit wide. Oh, they deployed right at the back. So we're going to get mortared on the way in. Let's just steal two units. Guards. Let's run my lifeguards in because they can knock out the camel nomads pretty effectively, being heavy cavalry. Major of horse can continue just to, to just march. So these men form a new line anchored against the buildings. My rifles and my marines on the flank. So let's get you guys to go in through the town as well. These three units can push the flank, skirmishes out wide, cavalry out wider. Get my lifeguards back. Yeah, oh, the mortars are doing some real damage here, right. Let's get around the flank. So these men are armed populace, which are charging in. But unfortunately, my grenadiers and my ah, I thought I got the sound because of the. There we go. Oh, my marines are going to fire the volley guns. 
Oh, dang it. Charge some cavalry forward. This, this unit of Scottish infantry can hit the Azar. You men form a square. Skirmishers have opened up now against the hand mortars, which are particularly brutal. So the left flank has crumbled. Should make everyone run up to advance. This regiment of horse, ah, garrison Islamic swordsmen. Get my rangers to focus on them. Get this unit of horse guards to hit. Oh, I'm gonna lose a couple of infantry onto those on those spikes. Keep running away. Pivot these two lines. Run my rangers away. New men hit the Israeli. All my guns, everyone focus on this garrison Islamic swordsman unit. Enemy general's been killed. Get you men out of square and advance like that up towards the enemy position. Let's bring a cavalry unit back, ready to face off the Garrison Islamic Swordsman. My lifeguard charge the Azar. Both these men halt because they'll turn and fire at the Islamic Swordsman pretty effectively. Well, apart from it's a bit of a death, they got a bit of a death delayed. More artillery inbound, close range volley from my skirmishers. Artillery cease fire. How's this Israeli unit doing? Oh, not so well. Aha! First Order Garrison Israeli. There we go. Keep up the pressure there. Artillery cease fire. We are going to continue. We don't have to, but we are going to just for the experience bonuses. Regiment of Horse, where are you? Where are you? There you are. We're going to do it just to try and get a couple of extra chevrons. Well, at least try to. Because units like this lifeguard unit, they're actually uh, in really good condition, so even with a bit of replenishment, they're likely to keep that level of experience. 
Well, they will keep it. Adding four new guys isn't going to change that. I mean, unfortunately, these guys are determined to not attack that formation. This unit of Isoredi is going to successfully rout. Yeah, so then... Well, let's not charge anyone else over here. Just bring my general. Because I can't be bothered to negotiate them around the cavalry defences. Three more Islamic swordsmen. There we go. Cairo is ours. So let's get in there. Knock a bunch of the buildings down. Rebuild them up in our cultural style. Let's get rid of Alexandria's dockyard. I want to get all these buildings repaired. Rebuild. Knock down this university. Upgrade all these buildings. The industrial building, the trade building, the um, happiness building. Let's upgrade you to a craft workshop. You to a church school. And then once the university is destroyed, that will also become a economy building. Let's build a galley. So you can now start to tax Tripoli, which is lovely. So we likely don't need two of these Dragoons anymore. Rome is potentially a bit trickier, so let's give them a bit more time. You're replenishing, you're replenishing. You're replenishing. The garrison here is mostly replenished. George Wade is replenished. Mark Cochran is just holding on to Breslau, preventing the Prussians from escaping. I think the only thing we could do is up here. So if I take Harold Williams out of Vilnius... We could push Killian Harrison into into here to make sure the city still has a garrison. And then we can push and attack this Prussian army. But then again, actually, how important is that gonna gonna be? Considering Breslau's on the way out, Curtis is on his way down to Hungary with our named force. You spies infiltrate Belgrade, you Infiltrate Sophia. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to reinforce. We're just going to reinforce on on this over here. Obviously, we are waiting. We've got one army under Alvin Veer chasing down some of these Ottomans. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to go too mad about worrying worrying what these guys are going to do. Got a couple of armies that are just red, ready and waiting for them to make a move. Start to rebuild an army which we could use to attack Denmark if we needed to. We probably really want to be building up a... So you're, the, you're guarding the entrance to the Baltic. That's not the same thing as having a Baltic fleet. I don't have much visibility on what ships they're capable of building but let's assume it's fairly good so let's get a handful of first rates let's do something like that you're getting a galley which is good you've got fourth rates that might be best sent into the med try and do some raiding against the Ottomans, especially considering as we have well, we do too much. We have naval dominance here anyway. We could attack Greece. How does that impact us diplomatically? Well, they're out of the Ottomans. Um, hmm. let's build up a bit more of a, a garrison force here. To be honest, some light cavalry sharpshooters. There we go. 
So I'm pretty sure most of you guys can't leave. Yeah, minus five, that's a no. No, you guys can't leave either. But yeah, we haven't yet seen what the uh, Ottoman reaction to this attack is going to be yet, which should be quite fun. How many more turns till Montreal is finished? One turn, good. Because then once that happens, we can begin <laughs> the invasion of India. Okay, there we go. Let's upgrade. Upgrade some of these ports to global trading companies. Okay, they're all 100% converted. What about Florida? Yes. Savannah? Yes. Charleston? Yes. New Orleans. So you can come down to New Orleans. They're 100% converted. Okay, let's get you over to Santa Fe. And then you can start to work south into Texas, New Spain, and the rest of Central America. Pretty sure we've spent everything, we, we've upgraded everything we can upgrade. In this part of the world, he says, immediately noticing a port that can be upgraded. And all the infrastructure is okay. Just go mad with the upgrades. Good. He's got a whole bunch of armies ready to smash straight into India to the point where we probably want to actually start gathering our fleet. Ships orders. Heavy first rate. Admiral's flagship first rate. Let's put the HMS Neptune into a fleet. And you up here recruit. It's not. It's not put a named third rate into an army yet. Okay. So you're you're waiting to be made into an army, but that's not. It's not entirely necessary yet. So we're going to hold. I mean, you're. You're the stolen St. Petersburg garrison. Actually, I might march you towards Paris, where you can you can use that as our recruiting focal point. Um, but for everything else, I think we're going to hit end turn. Let our troops continue to advance. So we've got we're going to have a huge amount of armies landing in in um, Bengal. It's going to be obscene. It's going to be a proper um, invasion. The Prussians are going to go and try and steal as much technology. Ah, there's a industrial building in Spain we could have upgraded. Yeah, the um, Prussians are going to go out there and try and steal as much technology as they can, and it's not going to be worthwhile for them because they don't have the capability to withstand us. And, and unsurprisingly, they're going to start pushing us out of their ports. I'm surprised then, well, they're probably gathering their troops into an army to start to try and challenge us to the south. Yeah, you guys need to do something, because uh, that's a lot of major cities you just lost. Yeah, they're going to give us the runaround. Just need to recruit some half stacks to go chasing. I think de to designate them as half stacks, they're going to be led by captains rather than. Ooh. Yes, please. Attack me. Attack me so I can destroy you. <laughs> but yeah, so the problem is, is I'll, rec I'll recruit armies whose job is to hold back and fill in gaps and chase in raiders. But I'll give them a general. And then look at them and go, whoa, they're, they're within spitting distance of becoming a full army. And you want to go, yeah, but that's not what I want them to do. I want them to do something else. Fighting in the towns is always a bit funny.
So I might actually put my board artillery back here. Unfortunately, I think we can... Well, we're going to go on the offensive anyway. The enemy is sufficiently weak, but I think it's in our best interest, and defending inside the town can be a bit... iffy. The thing is, this is an era where you are incentivized to invest heavily in a maximum firepower, and in a town, you can't really do that. Not as successfully, anyway. Let's keep picking up some new targets. To be honest, the enemy is very weak. Let's get our troops to run. We might have an... Uh, <clears throat> Let's have a cup of drink of coffee a minute. We might have an early charge from a Zim Zamindari horseman, but they're not. It doesn't look like they want to uh, really pursue that, eff that effort. This entire left wing. Well, no, I think they are skirmish cavalry. More often than not, they then just decide they look like they're going to charge us, but then they just decide that they want to actually not charge. What they want to do is uh, skirmishy, which makes a lot of sense because they are skirmish cavalry, but. So the lifeguards push up. Now, these guys aren't charging because their lances aren't dipped. But they likely will charge once they get within a certain range. It's all. Rain always seems to be quite bad for making the sound bugger up. You men stop and deploy into square. You men deploy like so. Yeah, they've changed their target. They don't like the men in squares. Distraction on the left. 71st, 51st, a regiment of foot with no name. Let's try. Sometimes that seems to work, just spamming the button. There we go. It's back. So these unit this unit of armoured cavalry is gonna keep taking volleys from this regiment of foot. Sekban Janissaries are routed. I should probably have my general up here to help take care of them. The unit of Muslim are advancing. Oh, make ready. Ah, oh, nuts. I mean, you're ch ch charging the square again. Admirable, but. You blasted the unit of Semini. There we go. You men get out of square. Advance, you men. Out of square in advance. My general's bodyguard charged the sec ban. There's only 150 of them. They fired their pistols at us. See how many we can kill. We will have to pull back. Good, the lifeguards can be pushed, can be charged in. Chemat Janissaries, Chemat Semat Volley. Oh, close range volley. Love it. Okay, let's get you guys. Charge Delhi Horsemen, you guys probably get over here to fight the Janissaries, keep them away from my general for a bit. These units stretch out a bit more to maximize your firepower against skirmish cavalry. Switch a how it's just a round shot, start to try and pick at the cavalry.
I mean, this formation here is just going to uh, collapse, isn't it? Really. 31st Auto holding on admirably. That's not going to be enough. Let's charge the sec ban with my general once more. Here I heard all his horses die there. <laughs> you men charge the general's bodyguards, you guys both charge. Charge and chase down the Bashi Bazooks. Advance up to close range. Deploy my general to chase down easier prey. We've surrounded these Janissaries here. They're going to fall. Again, guard mode off. Chase them down even once they've fled the field. You guys get back to fighting in the centre. Every time you right click, a handful of them will stop and try and face us off. That's a good amount of damage done to them, though. You're facing the foot artillery. You guys can chase down the Semini. Enemy general's been killed. My Arth cavalry's routing. Well, it is upset from our close range artillery fire. We do have a couple of units here that are still holding strong. Cease artillery fire, to be honest, because these guys are, are ripe for uh, ripe for being pursued. Actually, no. Let's keep my general out of this. My heavy cavalry can charge the Semini. Okay, now don't bother about the Semini. Turn our lines fire at will off. Because we've got some pretty decent units to kill here. I mean, the um, Hindu Musketeers, not so much. Because they're more of a mob unit. Right, the Janissary Grenadiers are worthwhile to knock out. You guys may as well attack the, uh, the Hindu Musketeers. It mustn't look a gift horse in the mouth. There we go. They're going to escape. And that's the end of the action. Nice. That's repelled another full Ottoman army. Hopefully we might have... Well, we will have done some significant damage to it. Back you go. How many times do you guys want to go through that dance? Not often, I think. Obviously an army's just ran through our lines, <laughs> taking advantage of our movement gaps. Yeah, we do need to recruit some troops to go fill up the fill up the holes in our line. Potentially troops we were about to recruit in St. Petersburg might head southwest. Yeah, Marathas. Be careful, you know what's coming. And the Greeks, fortunately, all those ships will just instantly disappear once we declare war. Because we'll attack the city and that will be the end of the Greek faction. So, 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 so. So, so, so. Come on, let's see. Let's get cracking. So, yeah, like armies like this guy. Auto them with Oscar Hardinge. Yeah, definitely an auto there. So they've been pushed back, but that means this detachment of infantry could probably finish them off. Victory is ours. And Esk May, you guys might be our first detachment. Although, to be honest, I've got, I should give them a general. 
just because it does give me the option to recruit well if I create recruit like yeomanry that'll be an incentive to not throw them into the battle line because yeomanry are not the best Keep recruiting. Probably want. I want more troops than that. That's for darn sure. You guys are gonna go back on yourself and attack Mr. Hawker, just to get rid of them. If we don't, they'll run around and raid everything as again. Then you guys can head west. You guys might be looking to try and combine forces. Mr. Mayhew. See, the garrison of Moscow is not as big as I would like without an army inside. It does mean St. Petersburg, you need more another unit of troops. Military tech, top gallants, so... Very well. Cambridge, you no longer need a university because we have maxed out our tech. Construction report, a bunch of global trading companies. Steam powered cloth mill. Let's upgrade this one in Italy, as I remembered. Not Italy, Madrid, Spain. Algiers gets a new port. I do need to upgrade a bunch of. Um, roads in Europe because I'm definitely aware that they aren't firing on all cylinders they're not all the roads aren't maxed out which could hinder our response to an enemy attack Wait, have we got two chapter schools? We've got two church schools. Dang, nabbit. Um, okay. Good, so Munich, yes. Prague, yes. Berlin. Okay, so we've got this guy that's run around us here. So let's take Jude Abbott, move him out of the way. Let's take George Wade. He can loiter. Because I'm going to take. Well, I'm going to take George Wade and auto this fight here. It'll damage the garrison in Austria, but they're not. They weren't going to be advancing anywhere in any speed anyway. But you're going to advance, and then we're going to take Curtis Patterson. Although the first Yorkshires are under. They're depleted. But everyone else is in good shape and we've got a good amount of artillery so I might just fight it anyway. Let's attack Hungary with our named army. Let's take him out. So, so the, the marines are likely to go up one of the walls rather than inside the breach because it feels like going into the breach with nearly a half strength unit is a bit of a gamble. Still, this will be a sig this will deal a significant blow to the enemy. My God, the river is high. Hmm. Um, but yes, let's focus. Focus. Don't focus on the weather outside. <laughs> um, at this time of year, the weather outside is frightful. It's got fantastic artillery force to attack the city. So let's put some of our regular troops. Okay, so who's going to go in the breach? It's probably going to have to be the first and second Royal Welsh, leading up one division each, backed up by a unit of line. The skirmishers are also going to keep an eye on the breaches and look for any suitable ways of assault. Whereas my guys, the auctions number one. The foot guards and the von Losbergs. Von Losberg infantry will be pushing to try and secure a wall. 
one of the walls, as will Clan Makata. Heavy Cavalry looking to find a new spot. Charlie Scott's Greys are also going to be looking for a new way in. Our Pikes are going to go into one of the breaches, whichever one needs it the most. And let's just open up. Attack their mortars with my howitzers. Kill their general with the first shot. We want to try and deplete their mortars as much as possible. It looks like we've done just that. So let's target some of their other units. The wall is going to go down fairly quick. Grenadiers here are taking a few shots as the captain looks at the fort ahead. Hmm. Nasty. We're going to bash down this wall, no bother. We lost a handful of men as the wall collapsed here. We'll make our breach and we'll make it practicable. Let's increase the time just a little bit. Ooh, if one of these howitzers hits... One of these howitzers is aiming at the Swiss line, so if they fire and land here... Yeah, some units are attacking over there. I'm sure I sent some of them to attack this Swiss line unit here. Oh well, never mind. Focus on this section of the fort. Because they are completely aware of the dangers of what might happen here if they don't get off the wall. One bugged gun. Also doing damage to the men on the wall. If they don't if they don't get off the wall, that'll be one, two, three, four units trapped. Five units, maybe. And that unit's just got absolutely hammered. Marsh as much as you like. You know what's going to happen. My god. Beautiful. More field foot artillery slams home. Okay, they're eager and tired, but they're not quite bothered about. Oh, there we go. So that's damaged. That's destroyed. The 52% destroys the footpath, which means any units, or well, the stairs, the ramp, which means any units that are actually on there collapse and die. It might be a bit overkill to keep focusing on this, these guys here, but let's just clear them out. So more shots. Yep, it looks like four units are going to get stuck on the wall. And this eight, the 8th Regiment may die as the wall collapses. There, there's the officer. The blithering idiot in command of this deadly expedition. He's going to make it. Oh no way, that's a different guy. Oh. Yep, the 8th Regiment down to 17 men. It looks like they want to see the men <laughs> that destroyed their unit. Oh no, they've routed. How does shrapnel shot work? I may as well get my guns to keep start attacking the men on the breach. Let's advance our assault companies up. Sharpshooters on the... rifles on the left. Sharpshooters on the right. I mean, yeah, look. We've just pretty much wiped out the men defending the right-hand breach. So the pikes are going to go on the left. I 
my assault divisions are going to be in a bit of trouble. One unit attack the quick with fire lock arm citizenry, another unit. Start dropping round shot. I mean, it's all militia. There's a couple of garrison provisional line units, but. Let's get my artillery to just attack. Can they shoot the men at the back? They can indeed. They weren't going to attack the men on the walls at the front, but they will lob shells up and over. Oh, apparently not. How oh, weird. Charlie Scott's Grey is going to run over to take advantage of the this not protected breach. How many men are here? Five plus one. Six guys. Because <laughs> all of their comrades have fallen. To be honest, you men start to run to scale the wall. We don't want them realising the absolute uh, gold mine they've left us here. And slamming shots home onto this. Just a huge cluster of men on the walls. So Clan Makada scale the left section of the wall. Yorkshire's number one scale that section there second foot guards I've moved the the um, Yorks number one because they are depleted let's get my Royal Grenadier guards ready to secure the gatehouse get my grenadiers in here get my line infantry in here get my sharpshooters to scale the wall around the flank My Swiss pikes to go in first on the left hand breach. Yep, here they are. Here come the volleys. The rifles can advance ready to try and fire at these men up on the wall because they have nothing else useful to do. The Regiment of Lines killed the 6th Regiment. 2nd Royal Welsh hit the 10th. Charlie's Light Dragoons also get in here. I am definitely going to want to turn my howitzers probably to fire it well off. these men to attack the chaps outside the breach, my grenadiers and my marines. Clan Makad is still going to scale the wall. Get in here, Charlie, Scots Greys. The second row Welsh hit the fire lock arm citizenry. Charlie, Scots Greys form. The marines are wavering. Well, the pikes have routed. So these units here, the Orcs number one, swing right and hit the Swiss Grenadiers. The Von Lossbergs attack the militia above the gate. Get my cavalry in to attack the Regiment of Horse. Get the Grenadiers in here. Get the heavy cavalry in here. Even though these guys were in square, they should probably break, but I don't really want them to attack them. My artillery cease fire. Charlie Scott's Grey is going to go knock out the 1st Regiment of Horse Artillery. My Marines are losing to the Scots Grenadiers. Clan Makada swing across the front. The 47th Foot Guards also try and support the attack against the Marines. Attack the garrison provincial line infantry with the 1st Regiment, Royal Welsh. Here comes Clan Makada. 
swarming across into the rear of the militia. Charlie Scott's Greys hit the rear of the 7th. Get the Grenadiers around the rear. Get my Grenadiers to storm through the gate. The Marines get up here. The Orcs number one aren't going to win against the 1st Regiment of Swiss Grenadiers. New men charge the Mortar Garrison unit. The 11th Regiment of Foot has been surrounded by my infantry. And they're going down rapidly. Grenadiers attack the 13th Regiment. No, nope. Charlie Scott's Greys leave the 11th. My infantry will take care of them. New men charge, get back into fighting against the 7th. Charge into their flank. Kill that one last unit. <laughs> so they're going to surround him and fight him one on one. Kill him, don't just let him go. There he goes. You men secure the center. Pikeman did return from combat, but little, too little too late. Other great men have made the made the breach practicable. The Orkton number one may lose some amount of their experience. Although I might amalgamate them with the 47th to ensure they remain highly skilled, high experience. I mean, look, this. Oh, I bet it's because these guys are still alive that they're staying, that they've, they've not broken. So the Von Lossberg, you men, you men can have a break. <laughs> oh, they didn't kill the Grenadier, they just pushed him over and ran away. There we go, so the Grenadiers flank the company in the centre. Let's form a nice little parade. Clan Makata can definitely charge the 7th. Charlie Scott's Greys have taken quite a, bunch, quite a bit of damage there fighting against this infantry, so let's get them out of here. The Highlanders are here now. There's only 11 of, them, 11 of them left. There we go. The city is taken. Hurrah. Another victory for our named force. So let's do... Let's, I've, got do I've got to do this correctly. So there's the auction number one. If I merge you guys like that. The auction number one is up to full strength and it's the unnamed unit that needs replenishment. Good. Repair. George Wade, you are a battlefield commander, so you can advance up front. Lord. Jude Abbott is within striking range. To be honest, a number of these guys are actually within striking range. Maybe you guys hit Graz. Okay, first of all, you're going to hit, you're going to put Zagreb under siege. So when I attack this guy, at the very least, he'll go east, where there's units. Whereas if I made this guy attack Zagreb and this guy attack here, it'll drive them west, which again isn't a massive problem, because we still have troops in Vienna, but I would rather not. Um, oh, Vienna needs new roads, but one thing I am going to do, because I've just remembered, 
Montreal, Montreal. Da, da, da. Kings Royal Regiment of New York. One unit. <laughs> That's all that was for. Because um, this is an if this is a Empire Total War DLC unit. Um, units of the United States. Kings Royal Regiment. Kings Royal Regiment of New York was a misleading name for a regiment that never was never actually stationed in New York. But still, that's another more uh, elite, another uh, unit that I can add to my growing forces here to make them definitely uh, American, clearly American armies. I mean, they're all colonial line, but they're invading India, which will have colonial troops as well. So, good stuff. So you're going to get one regiment of line. You need three field artillery. And 24 pounders. Three field artillery and the regiment of line. And then maybe a more interesting, heavier regiment of line. Ooh, Fraser's Rangers. Yes, please. I mean, I know I said more elite troops, but let's, that means... So this unit of range is going to leave... So Fraser's, Fraser's Rangers are pretty damn awesome, really, as a skirmishing unit. Accuracy 60. Well, compare them to your bog standard line. They're slower to reload because they've presumably got rifles, but they've not got... Well, nor do they have rifles, actually. I think, I think you get them from a researching advance. They've actually got slightly less range. Huh. Do they have more ammunition, though? So they don't have rifles. They reload. They have more ammo, reload slower. No, they've got the same ammo, but reload slower. But they're more accurate. Hmm. There's a frontiersman that have been recruited to join the British army. War against the Morgans. Uh, Fraser's Rangers pushed back. Morgan and his... Oh no, Morgan's men were attacked by the British Advanced Company, but Fraser and his Rangers drove them back. Allowing the Advanced Company to retreat. Uh, good old Company of Select Marksmen. So that means we're recruiting four units. We've got our fifth one on the way. Let's recruit a unit of Colonial Line it is. Well, what are, why am I doing that? I can just move one of these guys over. Good stuff. Yeah, you're one of my fleets that needs replenishment. I might move these thirds north. Yeah, you were you were one of my damaged fleets that were guarding a trade zone. Here we go, fifth rates. There's an Ottoman fleet, which is actually a bit dodgy because we don't really have the the strength to defeat them here. Because Thomas Matthews, your army is pretty, your fleet's pretty knackered. There we go. So you guys go join Mohammed. Thomas Matthews, you guys need to get over here back to England rapido. It's going to leave these guys very vulnerable, but to be honest, I'm not that bothered about that. Um, right. Yes, so let's take Andrew Hardy and attack Graz, where there is an Ottoman force just waiting to be destroyed. And then we could push on and take Zagreb afterwards, although that will probably be in the next episode. But our, our, our advance is continuing and the pressure is, adva is, is, is growing. The pressure is advancing. Uh, yes, things are going pretty darn well. And then once that last army in the Americas is finished recruiting, we will begin our invasion of India. So let's get our troops to form a giant line because this is an army that's de it, it's another depleted army skirmishes out on one flank general on 
field, uh, uh, cavalry to support them with pikes on the right, which means the this cavalry and my general can be on the left. How it does open up? I'm going to stay with round shot for now because they are sufficiently weak that we don't really need to thin them out with quick climb the way we would normally do. Definitely want to get our pikes up here. I definitely needed to stop and form a new line because it looked like the troops on the right, if I advanced up to their final position, were absolutely going to get mobbed by enemy troops. You men. Now don't smash the fellaine yet. So let's start to quick line the Nizam infantry. Units that are going to stay at range. Got plenty of units that are going to charge here. The Delhi horsemen are going to get engaged by my Hessian Jaeger. Advance my lifeguards into the rear. So I'm focusing on um, yeah, the Semini mission, uh, infantry. I mean this Fellaine unit, yeah, they weren't ever gonna... So charge my lifeguards into this unit of Bashi Bazooks, because they're at lower strength, they've been depleted. Two generals bodyguards over here. But yeah, the melee army has just collapsed. The Bashis have gone, the Fellaine have gone, the lifeguards go straight in. Might be a bit of fratricide. It's worth doing because this army is just in tatters. One thing I do need to be careful of is that these guys don't accidentally charge into the defences. So you guys should beat the General's Bodyguard. Let's stop all the artillery. But you will beat the General's Bodyguard. There's no should about it. Okay, let's go around those defences. I'm going to get all my guns to give that general's bodyguard a volley. Fire! Boom, 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 boom. Shots inbound. ceasefire, let my light infantry shoot the general's bodyguard in the back. No! My precious cavalry, don't run into the defences. Well, that's probably my fault, to be honest. There we go, those men execute this general's bodyguard unit. They're going to charge us, but they've, they're brought down to nine men. That's fine. They're done for. Make sure we are attacking good units to attack. Oh, I don't know why the Fellaine have come back. All my artillery. Focus them. General's bodyguard. Yes, be, stay cagey. Okay. 
I mean, these are lifeguards fighting a general's bodyguard unit. They don't win, so it's horribly wrong. Yeah, that's right. You guys can't afford to ignore those all that infantry coming your way. Just hit anyone. Enemy general's been killed. Feliina routed. So it's speed up time. Damn right, we're going to continue. Probably not going to do a huge amount of damage to them because lots of the units that have routed have routed in quite frustrating directions. Take out the gunner, the cavalry is going to rout, and the only other unit over here is that Felae, which is about to rout. But that's damn if that isn't a good victory there. Let's chop down another Ottoman stack in the Balkans. We've only lost 33 men in that engagement as well. Yeah, so now they've at least they've retreated away where our men could intercept and stop them. <laughs> Compared to running this way and potentially, I don't know, Madrid's, uh, Venice would have still stopped them, but... Okay, let's pick up another galley. What I'm going to do before I end the episode, though, is sort out Egypt. Because everything's being upgraded or built. Can the army leave? Egypt? We can, because we're a benevolent overlord. So we're at peace with Persia. Let's get you to Alexandria. So I might use them to land. Maybe take Istanbul, which is producing a, sh a shockingly small amount of money. Jerusalem, build a trade port, make sure the roads are all being upgraded. So Flynn Gardner, you can leave the city. Good. Industrialization might become a thing. Yeah, you're becoming a potter. Potter. So you men push up the the coast. Um, let's keep one steam dry dock. Actually, no. There's, we've already got a. Okay, keep the steam dry dock. Destroy the naval hospital. So you men are ready to rock and roll. You're building defenses. Can you guys leave Syria? You can. So let's start to build up a. Colonial army. Put Baghdad under threat. We can do some upgrades to the north. Good. So when these guys are replenished, I don't know, they might even sail and land and push on Ankara because we've got a, a secured port here at Izmir. Let's do some upgrades here, but like I said, Jude Abbott, his force is going to Attack the garrison at Zagreb, which has got a bucket load of mortars, so we're going to be incredibly aggressive in this one. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Zagreb. Cheers everyone.